Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for the back nine shots for Master Division opening and weekend round edition Champ the Mass Tournament here in, in Golf Clash the game. Before we take a closer look, make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. As it was for the front nine, these are shots that are reflecting the guide that we are having. However, they do not provide all the details. If you do want to get the full details, wind angle tweaks, the more in-depth tweaks, and the latest tweaks especially, and obviously, you know, getting access to our full portfolio with everything else surrounding the guides, you go and subscribe to patreon.com slash golfclash. Tommy, you do have the link in the description down below, or you can scan the QR code here on the screen. Once you do sign up, you get access immediately, and the full guide is out, so make sure to sign up already now also follow the info box here on the right hand side to get the club distance adjustment the elevation adjustment also what ball and club type i suggest you to play with let's go to hole number 10. On the drive here on hole number 10, we're gonna start with QB at max P3 line, and then we're gonna have blue ring by the rough line, swap to a puck and uh, B52 bag. And we're going to play with seven top spin and three right spin. Here you can play with a P2 ball as well if you want to, have in mind you need as minimum four bars of side spin on the second shot. Adjust max plus 10 P3. And then we're going to just center the ball without any curl, overpower or underpower. Apocalypse level 5 though has to be said. You're going to have to go with uh, before, just before circle drop overpower. This to compensate for the lesser topspin that you do have on your club. Bounces nicely on the fairway. This drive has been very consistent around 345 to 350 yards. On the second shot, we're gonna do a rough line shake. The good part with this is that the drive is super consistent, so it's gonna be more or less always plus five. A plus five it is, and we're gonna go one top, four left spin. Now we're looking to have the top of the yellow ring by the rough line with a ball guideline through the hole. Put the target from this angle. It's easier than to see if you are through the hole if you are or if not. Then once we have found that, we're gonna spin swap and we're gonna do 0 0.2 bars of top spin, which is five clicks from zero and the reason we're going to do that is because otherwise we're going to come in too hot now favor 11.59 avoid 12.01 uh, completely because that if you play with 12.01 it could risk you missing the rough and this is the angle we're going to do no tweaks whatsoever and we're going to play a 18 percent slider with a 10 percent elevation p3 numbers from plus five center the ball hit perfect and you can see here now that we are clipping the rough, uh, there is a margin, not much though, and we come into and drop it dead center. In my opinion, this is a difficult hole with this wind, but the eagle here is very makeable with our shot. Hole number 11, very difficult wind. I've tried Tried sand bump, rough bump, but ended up playing a um, very funny backspin boost shot. Start with the bullseye uh, by the hole. And uh, then we're going to make an adjustment that is max minus 5% elevation P3. Notice that I haven't added the spins yet. We're going to add spin based off wind angle. And we're going to do that this time instead of having to do with a lot of curl because otherwise it's going to be a lot of clicks of curl to compensate so here i'm playing with 3.8 backspin boost and we're playing with 0 0.3 left spin in this angle when it comes to the win the backspin boost we're gonna use a 3.8 backspin boost in all winds above uh, 7.5 if we do have 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, then we're going to um, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, we're going to use four backspin boost instead. This to compensate for, um, for not pulling as far down into the bunker. And um, I mean, this is by no means a simple drop, but uh, this is definitely a makeable one. And uh, it's uh, a nice simple setup. The only dif difficult part is to set the spins based off wind angle. Uh, 
All right, so uh, we start in NMT with a power three ball, four left spin, five and a half bar top spin, and we're gonna move two rings left from NMT. We're gonna do different rings for a POC six and seven. We do not have the POC five listed here as an option. And the reason for that is because it has less curl. A POC six and a POC seven has less curl as well, but it is possible to judge that one anyway or try those out for the team. Um, bouncing nicely on the fairway and it uh, rolls now we do want to get to uh, 440 or like 440 to 460 yards approximately there it's either going to be a landing position check the next one or it's going to be a, a top white ring check with the guardian on the second shot we play with our guardian and we're gonna go seven backspin and one left spin we're using a top of the white ring check here if we have a long drive we're using landing position plus yardage if we do have a shorter drive now second bounce to be in between the dark and the bright green square row in the center of it then you do have the third bounce as well that you can look at if you would like now this is the angle that's gonna require no tweaks so we're going to uh, um, make an adjustment that is 54% slider uh, with a 15% elevation P3 numbers. So center the ball, hit perfect, and this is going to be a good chance for a drop. But this hole now with this hole location is not going to be an easy one to drop. And even though you can't really see it here now, but it's getting in the hole. There we go for an albatross. So on hole number 13, we're using one left spin and three back spin. We're going to use the inner rain to be by the rough line with the ball guideline to go one green square through the hole. You can see that I'm zooming in, trying to look to have the ball guideline to be by the edge of the dark green square, which is what I'm judging to be one green square through the hole. Please try to double check the inner ring as well if you do have the time, because it could be that you're slightly overlapping sometimes, you know. This is the angle that we're gonna call for two clicks of under power, which is the most right angle. So we're going to make an adjustment that is one to one minus 0 0.2, so 8.1 rings for 8.3 miles per hour. And then we are doing the two clicks of under power and we're hitting perfect. The ball will then hit the rough and the will get itself down towards the pin and we're dropping it on the right hand side i mean i will take it a drop is a drop here in hole number 13. here on hole number 14 we're gonna go uh, at max distance with qb same as we do have on the front nine uh, yellow ring by the rough line and swap to a puck and thorn bag seven top three right and we're going to uh, then make an adjustment that is max plus 10 p3 you don't have to play with a p3 ball here you can play with a p2 p3 p4 p5 the only thing is that we do want three right spins so and as we don't have any win five side spin three p5s then obviously p4 is the highest you can go playing with a p4 gives you a completely slow needle p3 slight slight shake and with a p2 medium shake perfect ball is to be preferred a great left and a great right has still been on fairway but 375 to 380 yards is what we're looking for all right so on hole number 15 we're going to switch balls to try to have a between 15.5 to 17 miles per hour stretch out to absolute max to find the bullseye just where the sand uh, that the furthest part where the sand becomes wet then we're checking wind angles and then we're moving rings to the left apple gate is what i'm gonna say here this is 12 rings to the left what we're gonna move in this angle and uh, once we have done that, we're going to adjust one to one if wind is above 16 miles per hour. If it's not, then we're just going to keep it as is. In this angle, we're going to go six and a half top and three and a half right. And we're going to have the curl that we do have the center line down to the center of the triangle. The curl will be slightly less if we do have more tailwind. 
and such. There are obviously a lot of parts on this one here where waiting for the guide is going to be uh, the best thing here. But I had very good success with this shot in practice and also got it 2 for 2 live. You can obviously have different outcomes where you get either on the green or you have a wedge or you do have rough or sand. We will try to describe the best possible way all the different adjustments for the different type of outcomes. Hole number 16, a play from the Grand Parade tournament uh, that I'm just copy pasting really. It's a solid play and uh, now we do have the precision ball that we can use as well which will be even more helpful. Left side of the white ring by the sand and then standard overlap with the other epoch. 6 top, 2 right, adjust is max plus the mp3. Now what we need to have in mind here is that if we are adjusting down into the bunker we're gonna do circle drop over power if we have a if we have a headwind angle meaning that we're adjust up from plus 12 that we end up at plus 13 or 14 then we're also going to do circle drop over power but other than that we're just gonna play as is and the reason we're using the circle drop is to compensate and we don't want to land short and have a crappy bounce out from the rough 355 to 360 yards is what we're looking for second shot we're going to do either a bottom white uh, ring pin shake or we're gonna do a back frame shake it all depends on how long or short your drive is if your drive uh, is being 356 to 360 generally back frame shake but 350 uh, 350 to 355 is gonna be a bottom white uh, ring pin check um, that's roughly estimated doesn't have to be that all the time because you can be a little bit more left or a little bit more right off your drive than what I am two right spin ball guideline to be just through the hole with our thorn and that we're going to pull over the bullseye obviously as always um, it's going to be now with the bottom white ring check it's going to be plus 3 as a base, 50% slider, plus 15% elevation, P3 numbers. And then adding or subtracting 0.1 for every 2 yards. Rolls nicely, dead center for a lovely eagle here in hole number 16. Hole number 17, we start with a power 5 ball in complete minimum distance in the ring or the green ring by the rough line. Then we're going to swap to any side spin 4 plus wind 5 ball. It doesn't matter what power it is because you can play with power 0 up as power 5. Move up to uh, a couple of uh, clicks top spin. So always move up towards the top spin part and then you move back to 0. What you're going to notice there is that your ball guideline is going to show as it uh, would be glitching over the green. It won't, but it would show like that. This is the no tweak angle here and we're going to uh, give ourselves an adjustment that is one to one. Then we're going to center the ball and hit perfect and this is going to be, in my opinion, a very good chance. So we're using four right spin in total, but very important that you move up into the top spin bar arena and then or area and then you move back to zero from there not the other way around dead center for a lovely hole in one here in hole 17. start at max p5 line with the quarterback white ring to the right by the rough line then we're gonna do uh, a swap to a puck and guardian bag one left spin and six top spin. Adjust max plus 10 P4. Once that is done, we're gonna go full curl to the left. For those play a POC 5, you're gonna use 1.2 left spins. So you're gonna have to use a side spin 2 ball if you're playing with a POC 5. 
Apoc 6 to 8 can just use one uh, uh, side spin, one ball here, no need for a side spin 2 if so. Ball comes in nicely, single grades on either side has been fine, double grades can't really say that that's gonna be safe. Uh, unfortunately that's going to be an execution thing that we're gonna have to just deal with if we do make a mistake like that. Believe it or not, the second shot is actually going to give us a chance for a drop. Turn the screen around, look at to have the bottom of the blue ring by the tree and uh, then we are going to make an adjustment that is 92% slider with a 10% elevation P5 numbers from uh, plus 19. Adding or subtracting 0.1 for every two yards, but as the drive is very consistent, it's going to be, what can I say? It, it's going to be somewhat around plus 17 to plus 21 all the time. Um, adjust, and then we're going to uh, go with eight backspin and uh, 0 0.8 left spin. I mean, it's a heavy 0 0.8, almost a 0 0.9. You judge whatever that is for you. Max curl to the right, try to hit perfect. Uh, a perfect ball here will be around the hole. I can't sit here and say that it's going to drop, but it will be around the hole, and that is over close. But I'm getting it there. Great left, great right are safe, no problem. It's still going to be either a super easy wedge or an easy pot for an eagle. Thank you so much everybody for watching this playthrough for the back nine opening and weekend round edition master here in Champ the Moss tournament. If you do want to get the full details, then you go and sign up to patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. Do you have the link in the description down below or you scan the QR code here on the screen. Once you sign up, you get immediate access and then you get access to the full guide with all the latest tweaks and all the in-depth details that is necessary today in Master to uh, be fighting at the top and also consistently fighting to get the weekend round. So give it a try. Again, patreon.com slash gold clash Tommy or scan the QR code here on the screen. Thank you so much. Good luck in Champ de Mars tournament.